Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If your sun, moon, or rising just so happens to be in Capricorn, this message is divinely for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and stopping on by. It's been a minute. Keep in mind that this reading is a general reading for Capricorn, sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Therefore, not everything that I say is going to resonate, but grab what is speaking to you. Grab what is pulling at your heartstrings and just making you feel like, yes, that resonated or that message was for me because that's what the... That's what these readings are about. So um, nevertheless, let's begin. Let's jump in. We're going to do like a little energy check-in for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Ooh, Capricorn. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Actually, I think I want to get my Oracle cards. Hold on just a moment. Okay, okay. So I wanted to get some Oracle cards because I felt guided to use Oracle, actually. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus are rising. What are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and rising? We have peace. Happy, happy. <laughs> I love that for Capricorn. I love this. Happy, happy. The thinker. Okay. Mm. Capricorn. So there's something in your reading that speaks about I'm protecting my peace and I am doing everything I can to make sure that nobody disturbs my peace. Capricorn, I feel that a lot of you guys have been dealing with a lot of people or a lot of different energies or whatever the case may be, wanting to step in and disturb your peace. Wanting to step in and cause a commotion. And you know what it is, Capricorn? It's because you're happy or you're reaching a place where you are finally starting to smell the roses after all of your hard work. There was definitely something going on with Capricorn where a lot of you guys were stressed about money, worried about money, and you were asking yourself, why am I not making the money that I used to make? Why am I not receiving the abundance and flow that I'm normally used to receiving? Or what can I do to take myself to the next level? What can I do to get on top of the mountain? How can I make this work? Because all of these things took place. And it happened because maybe people didn't want me to win. Or maybe the divine doesn't want me to win. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like Capricorn was just going through a lot when it comes to self-worth. And who they are professionally, like how they present themselves to the world. That was definitely going on with Capricorn, which started to become a domino effect in other parts of their life and other parts of their day to day. This could be their romantic life. They could, this could be their um, friendship life, their family life, their inner circle. And interesting enough, Capricorn, I feel like a lot of you have come to a conclusion that you know what? I keep hearing it is what it is. So Capricorn, your message here is it really is what it is. And there's honest to God, nothing you can do but to make sure that you are doing for yourself and that you are really looking out for everything that's going to bring you joy and only welcoming in things that bring you joy. So, uh, so one thing I'm feeling for Capricorn, I keep seeing Capricorn being invited to a party, but they see people that they don't really like at the party. And rather than Capricorn staying and pretending to put a professional or political front, like, you know what, I'm going to be here with these people that are not really happy to see me, but I'm here to support a friend. Capricorn, I don't feel like that's going to be the energy for you guys um, for the rest of this year. And even going forward, I just feel like Capricorn... If you don't feel welcome, leave. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to leave this party or a lot of you guys are going to leave this, this get-together. You're leaving this meeting. You're leaving this relationship. You're leaving. You're doing something where you're taking a step back. 
because it's not working or it hasn't been working? Or you're not going to lie to yourself and say that you're okay with something when you deep down are not okay with it. So Capricorn, again, there is something going on where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to stick around for this. I'm leaving. I'm not going to act like I'm okay about it because I'm not. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to just kind of walk away from this to protect my peace. I thank you guys for inviting me. Thank you guys for including me. But this is for me. Capricorn, self-love and really really just protecting yourself is a theme here something's going on with capricorn where it's like mm, i don't feel safe or mm, i don't feel like that's a good idea mm, i don't feel like i should go or mm, i'm not gonna stay here for long i'm not gonna do this for long and capricorn normally you try to actually show up you try to be that friend but i i just don't feel like capricorn you have the energy to do that right now right now it's all about i need to be happy I need to do what I can to feel good. And then we also have the thinker card. I'm thinking. I'm wondering how this is going to go. So I would say Capricorn, if you want to leave that fake brunch, do it. If you want to leave that party because you saw somebody that, you know, triggered a lot of trauma for you, you have a right to leave. Don't stay to keep the peace because Capricorn, it has not been bringing you peace to overlook that feeling of don't go. Capricorn, stay home. I don't know why. <laughs> stay home. And if not, stay home. Leave early. Capricorn, please do not subject yourself to drama and low vibrational shit. You guys were already being hard on yourself surrounding career. Now you're about to be at this party or be at this place or do this, this thing that you were told to do to keep the peace. To make them happy. To make them feel good. What about you? I just don't feel like that's where you're at, Capricorn. I feel like you should only go to places where you feel safe. Okay? We have blessed Capricorn. You are blessed beyond your wildest observation. And your, your wildest dreams, I meant. But we have the observation card, which falls under the thinking card. So Capricorn, this is actually, again, like, I don't feel like this is the time to confront or to be placing yourself in shark-filled waters. Because that doesn't make any sense. This is more about, there's a lot of sharks in the water, and I'm on this beautiful island. I'm on this beautiful island in this beautiful tree house and there's a beautiful waterfall behind me and there's mango trees i have resources i have everything i need to thrive on this island even though there's a boat that's there for me to go back to where i came there's sharks all up in the water and they want to break the boat they want me to drown i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna stay right here i'm gonna sit right here and i'm going to enjoy this paradise. I'm going to enjoy my vacation. I'm going to enjoy my time off. I'm not going outside. It's very equivalent to police officers. All of this stuff is outside your house. It's got nothing to do with you. But if you walk outside, now you gotta you gotta answer questions. You you gotta participate. I'm not participating in that. This is none of my business. And Capricorn, if you're online and people are like, well, I saw you on Instagram. I'll reply to you when I, when I reply to you. Just because you saw me on Instagram liking some pictures, just because you saw that I'm online, that doesn't mean that you have access to me or that gives you the permission to invade my space and then feel entitled to it. If I don't want to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you. I will talk to you when I'm ready because at this moment, I may not be ready to receive you. I may be going through things. I'm protecting my peace. I don't have time. Capricorn, just say no. Just say no. Because there's something going on where it's like a lot of you guys are like, you said yes. Oh, this reminds me of that song from Beyonce. The song called Yes from Beyonce. Look it up. Um, it's one of my favorite songs from Beyonce. It's like, I said yes to everything. But when the first time I said no, it's like I never said yes. Y'all are so mad because I'm saying no. You guys are so mad 
that I don't want to get on that boat and swim to a different place where y'all want me to be at. But all of these sharks are in the water and they're trying to eat me up. Meanwhile, I'm safe on this island. I'm safe where I'm at. And there's better transportation that's coming for me where I can avoid these sharky waters, where I can avoid all of this chaos that wants to enter my level of peace and prosperity. You guys can interpret this in your life however you see fit. But there is something going on where it's like Capricorn's been a little bit too happy or Capricorn's been a little bit too at peace. We want to fuck that up. We want to disturb that. Don't let that happen, Capricorn. You're only going to, Capricorn, you're only going to let it happen if you keep saying yes to shit that you want to say no to. I am just saying. Can I talk to her? No. Can you meet me at my place? Mm -mm. <laughs> this is like, they're so like, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. And you know something? It, it really is because um, there's some unfinished business here. This is a conversation that needs to happen, Capricorn. Not even going to front with you guys. Like, yes, it probably does need to happen. But... It's not going to happen on their terms. It's going to happen on your terms. So that's the message. The message here is, no, 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 no. You cannot come into my life or you cannot step to me and say what I need to do. No, I'm going to tell you when I'm ready to do it. And I'll do it when I'm called to do it. I'll do it when I feel at my best. There is something going on in Capricorn's reading where it's like people want to pull you away from your bliss. People want to pull you away from the calmness. That's weird. That is so weird. That is so weird because I, I don't feel like anything's going on with Capricorn. But then again, everything is different. But I do feel like there's this pause. So let's get into um, the messages. And they want me to focus on love. Um, Capricorn, somebody made a promise to you and they have not been keeping their word or they've been inconsistent. Capricorn, again, this is where you have to say no or this is where you have to say, hey, you said you were going to do this. You didn't do it. And this is where I'm at. And they could have a great excuse. But again, Capricorn, people have come into your life, right? And they say they're going to do something and they don't do it. Whereas with you, you have came into their lives you told them you were going to do something and you showed up. So your whole thing is you're not about to disturb my you're not about to disturb my peace by telling me you're going to do something and then you don't do it. So it's either you do it or you don't. But don't tell me what I need to do or how I need to go about it when you haven't even done your part. But you're telling me what to do or you're telling me how I need to do it. Show me career nine of pentacles. Yeah, you guys are entering a place of abundance so again there was a drought that happened but capricorn figured it out or this is what you have to do to get back to yourself rest capricorn say no capricorn focus on yourself capricorn oh my god protect your energy capricorn capricorn say no whatever that this is oh can you come to this party even though these people that you don't fuck with are gonna be there and here's you, yeah, sure, no, you can just say, no, nah, I don't think so, girl, um, I, you, you already know what it is, but, um, you know, yeah, or it could be, okay, girl, but once they pull up, I'm leaving, I'm just going to show my face, yeah, eight of pentacles, you guys are just working on yourselves, the fool card, yeah, there's a risk here, Capricorn, again, if you do this when you know you shouldn't, it's going to backfire, Okay, don't do it. If you know that you shouldn't do it, don't do it. If you feel like, yeah, let me just show up and then I'll leave, then yes. And this is going to be a theme for the next two months. Ooh, preserve your happiness, Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, there is a man that's approaching you with a gift. Um, if you're a woman, there could be a man that wants to give you something. There could be a man that wants to offer you something. So whoever that you've been saying no to... <laughs> 
or whoever that you have to close the door on because they've made promises that they couldn't keep. I actually feel that this person is going to make it up to you. Capricorn, if you are single, this is a great time for you guys to reconnect or meet someone or take on that offer and hear what they have to say. But again, if you have to say no because something is just sounding stupid, say no. What I love about this reading is that I feel that... What I love about this reading is that I feel that a lot of you guys are actually or have already done the work to have your boundaries up. And it's like everybody's like, well, she said no, but what if we do this or what if we do that? How can I make it up to you? How can I make this right? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, it's like you guys are bargaining right now. Like, no, that's a little too expensive. Okay, well, that's the price. Okay, wait, 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 I want you to buy it. I want you to buy it. How about I give it to you for this much? How about I make it up to you? I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. That's what I thought because give me what I deserve. I walked away from this. I detached myself from this. What am I gaining from this? What am I gaining from this shit? Nine of cups. The chariot. I'm moving on. This is where I'm at. Or this is what I want. Or this is what it needs to be. Or it is what it is. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not backing down. I'm not, I'm not negotiating. This is where I'm at. So do that Capricorn. Um, Capricorn, so let's um, go over um, the energy that's coming up with the Scorpio full moon and the eclipse that's happening, I think, on the new moon. Capricorn, what I do feel for you guys is this is going to be a good time to plan. So what I do feel for you guys is this is going to be a very great time to plan and to set intentions on elevating and releasing and doing what's necessary to grow i do feel that for a capricorn so capricorn um if you want to start up that business this is a great time if you want to launch something this is a great time you have a lot of support to do this you're going to get a lot of recognition october and november so um really set your goals high but for everything else where people want you to say yes to shit that you don't really like say no and what's interesting is either people are going to be mad about it which you shouldn't care or they're going to want to work with you like, you know, what? OK, 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 let me meet you halfway. And it's like, yes, that's what I'm talking about, because Capricorn, how many times have you went out of your way to make it better or you went out of your way to offer peace or you went out of your way to do the right thing or be the bigger person? I, I just feel like Capricorn, you're not going to do that. You're just kind of like, mm, 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 mm. No, I'm not feeling that. Mm, mm. Mm, okay, then I'll find somebody else that can. Thank you for your services, though. Thank you. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, what if, what if we do this? Mm, I'll think about it. It's not saying yes to make them feel better. And maybe you might not say no. Maybe you'll say, I'll think about it. Give me some time. I don't know, Capricorn, I just feel like right now you're on your throne right now or you need to sit on your throne and you need to say no. Similar, kind of a similar message, kind of similar to Taurus's message, but you guys are not really holding things in to be okay. You guys have already had those emotions and now it's like, I finally reached a place of happiness or I'm finally finding peace or I'm finally content or I'm good with where everything is at and I'm just going to make it work. And I just feel like there may be people in the month of October and November that want to step in and tell you, well, this is what I think you should do, or this is what I want to happen, or you need to do this. And the answer should be no, Capricorn. They should be wanting to work this out with you because I do feel like Capricorn, in the past, you have already done everything that you could and you have tried. So it's their time to make it work, okay? And if nothing comes out of it, nothing comes out of it, but at least you stood up for yourself. And you did not disturb your peace to make other people happy. Anyways, I love you guys. And um, I hope you guys resonated with this reading. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your input regarding this. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.